Hello people of YouTube. Today we're covering the complete installation of the 52 inch Daniel Island ceiling fan by Home Decorators Collection. If you found this video, chances are you're stuck in your own installation and you're looking for some help. We're here to do just that. We've already unpacked the fan, but we're going to go over the parts. We're going to install this thing step by step through the entire video, all the way to turning it on and everything in between. If you'd like to, you can use the links below and that'll fast forward to any step in the installation process so you can get on with your life. Um, if you like the video at the end, please click like and subscribe and that'll help other people find it as well. Just a couple things about the fan. It is wet rated, making it perfect for use in any outdoor location. It's going to look great indoors as well too. The fan has some great quick install features like a slide on mounting bracket, AccuArm blade arms with captive screws, quick install blades that snap right on, a twist and lock light shade, and a quick wire harness plug on the remote receiver to make connecting to the fan much easier, and all these features make for a quick installation. The fan also features a six-way color-changing LED light kit that gives you the options between 2700K warm white all the way up to 6500K daylight deluxe. Now the fan does have a shutter-resistant plastic shade, and that's designed to mimic frosted glass with the added benefit of not breaking if it's dropped during installation or you take it off to clean it and then drop it, but it looks just like frosted glass when it's installed. Just a couple of important safety notes before we get started. You want to make sure that the electricity is turned off at the breaker box and at the wall switch. If you don't feel comfortable working around electricity, please consult with a licensed electrician. And one other safety note is if you're hanging this fan where you just had a light fixture on your ceiling, you need to make sure that the outlet box is clearly marked acceptable for fan support. If not, you'll need to replace that before beginning. So as you can see here, we've already unpacked the fan and we've opened up the manual to the parts page. Now we're just going to go over all the parts to make sure we have everything before beginning and that way we don't get stuck along the way. So first up, you have the slide on mounting bracket. That comes pre-installed inside the canopy with the decorative ring on the bottom. We'll show you in the first step how to remove that to get started. Next up, you have five AccuArm blade arms. As mentioned, these have the captive screws that make installation easy. Five quick install blades. You have the shadow resistant plastic twist and lock light shade. The decorative motor collar cover. The ball and down rod assembly. The LED light kit. The light kit pan. The fan motor. If installing with an extension down rod, you'll have this bit of extension wiring. You have the hardware pack that has the plastic wire nuts and the hanger and locking pin. And you'll have the remote and receiver. Now, as mentioned, the remote does include a wall cradle for convenient storage when not in use. And the receiver includes the quick connect wire harness plug to make attaching to the fan much quicker. The battery is also included for your convenience. Just a quick installation note before getting started. On the light kit pan, you'll see this plug with a warning label. This warning label is just advising that the fan will not operate until that plug is connected to the plug at the base of the fan. So if you like to wire the fan and then test it to make sure that the wiring is connected correctly, the fan won't operate until those two plugs are connected to complete the circuit. Just some tools we're going to need for this project. You need a Phillips head screwdriver. You might need some wire cutters and strippers. We like to have a line voltage tester to make sure the wires aren't live before beginning. You'll need some electrical tape and of course a ladder. So we have everything here. We're ready to begin. Let's do this. The mounting bracket comes pre-installed inside the canopy with the decorative ring attached. To remove the mounting bracket, first pull off the decorative ring. It's magnetic, so it just pulls off. You'll notice an alignment post at the base of the canopy. You'll need to loosen, but not remove, the two screws in the base of the canopy, enough so that that alignment post can exit that hole. Once those two screws are loosened, you'll simply lift and twist the mounting bracket to remove it from the canopy. This fan features a slide-on mounting bracket for easy installation. The bracket has two keyhole slots that will align with the two screws in the outlet box. Simply align the slots of the mounting bracket with the screws in the outlet box and then slide the hold in place before tightening. This is just a demonstration. To install the mounting bracket, begin by using a Phillips head screwdriver to loosen but not remove the two screws in the outlet box. Next, feed the house supply lines through the mounting bracket and align the slots of the mounting bracket with the screws that were loosened in the outlet box. Then slide the mounting bracket into place. Then, use a Phillips head screwdriver to completely tighten both of the outlet box screws and secure the mounting bracket. 
make sure that both screws are completely tight. To prepare the remote, start by removing the battery compartment cover. Install the included battery according to the diagram inside the battery compartment. If you have more than one remote control fan in the house, it's a good idea to change the dip switches in the remote and the receiver. The dip switches in the remote are located inside the battery compartment. The dip switches on the receiver are located under a rubber plug. Simply pull the plug up to expose the dip switches. And use a small tool to set those switches to any combination of up or down. You can set the dip switches to any combination as long as both the remote and the receiver have the same dip switch settings. Once the dip switches are set, replace the rubber plug on the receiver and then replace the battery compartment cover onto the remote. Before attaching the down rod, you'll need to use a Phillips head screwdriver to loosen but not remove the two set screws located on the motor collar. Next, gently pull the green ground wire from inside the ball and down rod assembly. Then, place the canopy on the down rod so that the down rod exits the smallest hole of the canopy. Next, place the decorative ring on the down rod. Make sure the black side with the notches is facing towards the canopy. The last piece is the decorative motor collar cover. Slide that onto the down rod, making sure that the largest opening is facing towards the end of the down rod. Then gently feed the wires through the bottom of the down rod so that they exit through the ball portion. Gently pull the wires through until the down rod meets the motor collar. Align the holes with the bottom of the down rod with the holes in the motor collar at the top of the motor. Use the locking pin and hanger pin included in the hardware pack to secure the down rod to the motor collar. With the holes aligned in the down rod and the motor collar, gently insert the hanger pin through one hole of the motor collar so that it exits through the opposite side. Make sure not to jam the wires inside the down rod. Once the hanger pin is through the motor collar, secure it by placing the locking pin in the holes at the end of the hanger pin. Finish the down rod installation by securely tightening the two set screws in the motor collar using a Phillips head screwdriver. Before hanging the fan, it's important to note the slot in the ball that will engage the tab in the mounting bracket. When hanging, you'll insert the ball into the mounting bracket and then rotate the fan assembly until you feel the slot engage the tab. This is just a demonstration. To hang the fan, lift the fan assembly up to the ceiling. Note the location of the slot that will align with the tab in the mounting bracket. Insert the ball into the mounting bracket and then rotate the entire fan assembly until you feel that tab engage the slot. The fan will drop into place when properly seated. You'll notice that one side of the receiver has the quick connect plug that will connect to the fan wiring. The other side of the receiver has two wires to connect to the house wiring. When installing the receiver, make sure the flat side of the receiver is facing towards the ceiling. Insert the receiver into the mounting bracket with the antenna side first so that the receiver rests on the ball and down rod assembly. Begin wiring the fan by taking the plug from the fan wires and inserting that into the plug from the receiver. The connectors will simply snap together. Next, take the green wire from the ball and down rod assembly and twist that wire together with the green wire from the mounting bracket. Next, connect the green wires to the bare copper house wire. This is the ground connection. Finish the connection using a plastic wire nut and a piece of electrical tape. Next, take the white wire from the receiver and twist that wire together with the white wire from the house supply lines. These are the neutral connections. Twist those two wires together and finish the connection using an included plastic wire nut and a piece of electrical tape. Finish the wiring by taking the black wire from the receiver and connecting that wire to the black wire from the house supply lines. This is the power connection. Twist those two wires together and secure the connection using an included plastic wire nut and a piece of electrical tape. Once all the wire connections have been made, gently tuck the wires around the mounting bracket and into the outlet box to make room for the canopy to attach.
The canopy attaches to the mounting bracket using two keyhole slots on either side of the canopy that will align with the two screws at the base of the mounting bracket. Align those holes with the screws in the mounting bracket and push the canopy up so the screws come through the keyhole slots and then twist to hold the canopy in place. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to tighten those screws and secure the canopy. You can tilt the fan to make extra room for the screwdriver to access the screws. Make sure both screws are completely tight. The decorative ring is magnetic. You just need to align the slots of the decorative ring with the two screws at the base of the canopy, and then slide the decorative ring up, and it will attach itself to the bottom of the canopy. This fan includes AccuArm blade arms for easy installation. The alignment post of the blade arm will align with the long slot at the base of the motor. Simply insert the alignment post into the long slot at the base of the motor, and the two captive screws will automatically align with the two screw holes at the base of the motor. Completely tighten both of these screws using a Phillips head screwdriver. Repeat this process for the four remaining blade arms. It's a good idea to go back through each blade arm and make sure that each screw is completely tightened. This fan features quick install blades. There are three keyhole slots on the blades that will align with the three posts on the blade arms. There's a spring clip mechanism that will snap in place when properly installed. When installing the blades, you'll align the keyhole slots with the posts and then press down and pull away from the fan to lock the blade in place. This is just a demonstration. To attach the blades, make sure the side that says this side up is facing towards the ceiling and align the keyhole slots with the rubber grommets and screws on the blade bracket and gently pull away from the fan to engage the locking clip. You'll hear the clip snap in place once the blade is properly installed. Repeat this process for the four remaining blades. Remove the twist tie holding the light wires together. The light kit pan attaches to the fan using two keyhole slots and one standard screw hole. Those will align with the three screws in the black bracket in the base of the motor. Begin by first removing and saving one of the three screws, and then loosen but do not remove the two remaining screws. And feed the light wire through the center hole of the light kit pan. Then align the two keyhole slots of the light kit pan with the two screws that were loosened in the black bracket at the base of the motor. Push up and twist to hold the light kit pan in place. Then use the screw that was removed and saved and insert that screw into the standard screw hole of the light kit pan and use a Phillips head screwdriver to tighten that screw. Once that screw is tightened, completely tighten the two remaining screws. Make sure all three screws are completely tight. Next, connect the molded adapter plug from the light kit to the plug from the fan by aligning the red arrows. Insert the plug from the fan into the plug from the light kit. The clip on the back will snap in place when properly connected. The LED light kit attaches to the fan in the same way using two keyhole slots and one standard screw hole. These will align with the three screws in the light kit pan. Begin by first removing and saving one screw and then loosening but not removing the two remaining screws in the light kit pan. Next, connect the LED module to the fan by inserting the plugs from the LED module into the wires from the fan. Connect the white wire from the LED module to the white wire from the fan and the black wire from the LED module to the blue wire from the fan. The plugs will snap together when properly inserted. Once the wire connections are made, tuck the wires up into the light kit pan and align the keyhole slots of the light kit with the two screws that were loosened in the light kit pan. Press up and twist to engage those two screws. Then use the screw that was removed and saved and insert that into the standard screw hole of the light kit and completely tighten using a Phillips head screwdriver. Once that screw is completely tightened, completely tighten the two remaining screws in the light kit pan. Make sure all three screws are completely tight. The light shade uses a twist lock system to connect to the fan. There are three flat sides on the light shade that will align with the three nubs inside the light kit pan. Align the flat sides of the light shade with the three nubs in the light kit pan, then press the light shade up and twist clockwise until tight.
The fan is controlled by the included remote control. Press the power button to turn the fan and light on and off. Press the fan speed button to cycle through the fan's three speeds. Press and release the light control button to turn the light on or off. Press and hold the light button to cycle through the dimming function. The color temperature button cycles through the light's six light color temperature options, ranging from soft white to daylight deluxe. Press and release the button to change the light color temperature. This fan features a three-speed reversible motor. The manual reverse switch is located right above the light kit and is enclosed in a rubber casing to protect it from the elements. The factory default is switch left to create a downward airflow for use in the warmer months. Switch right creates an upward airflow to draw warm air from the ceiling for use in the cooler months. Make sure the fan is off before changing the reverse switch position. To attach the wall cradle to the wall, begin by removing the screw cover by sliding it out of the wall cradle. Then choose a position on the wall where you'd like to store the remote when not in use. Use the included screws and a Phillips head screwdriver to attach the wall cradle to the wall. Make sure both screws are tight. You may want to use anchors that are also provided when attaching the wall cradle to the wall. Once the screws are tight, reinsert the screw cover into the slots of the wall cradle. Now the wall cradle is ready to hold the remote when not in use. Congratulations, your ceiling fan installation is now complete. Time to sit back, relax with a nice tall beverage, and enjoy your new ceiling fan. As always, thanks for watching, and if you found this video helpful, please click like and subscribe down below, and that'll help other people find it as well. And as we always say around here, keep it breezy.